Hey there, guys. As you can see, today we're in the garage. And we're going to be doing experiments again. I clearly have a little wooden plank here. And I got me this here car. I got it from our neighbors, since none of us have front-wheel drive cars for some reason. Actually, there are a few, but none of them are available at the moment. Someone's using them for work and whatnot. I'm gonna take off a wheel, a brake caliper. You probably see where this is going, right? I'll remove the brake pads and install some wood instead. In other words, I'm making wooden brake pads. Interesting to see what's going to happen. Soon we'll find out whether they work or not. Let's go! Will wooden brake pads work or not? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. And we wind up with pads that look like this. Almost OEM. We couldn't cut them with a jigsaw for a simple reason. Somebody has the jigsaw. And I don't want to go out looking for it. So I used an angle grinder instead. Though that thing does make a lot of smoke. Whatever, we open the door. The room will clear in no time. So yeah, guys, they fit here just perfectly. As if they're factory. Close them up, bolt them down tight. And let's have a go. Right, so I made it to the street. Everything seems to be in working order. I've applied the brakes a few times. They work. Nothing's falling apart yet. I'm just gonna go back and forth and see whether anything falls apart and uh, whether the brakes work or not. We'll soon find out. So yeah, fellas, I drove around on wooden brake pads. I'm just gonna put it right out there. They work, especially when I just drove out and made the first couple of stops, since the wood still was uh, fluffy and everything. The brakes were working very well, but gradually the wood stopped gripping onto the brake calipers. It probably has to do with the wood polishing out, since it didn't exactly grip like Ferrodo pads. Braking force gradually deteriorated, of course, but they worked anyway, and that's the entire point. They didn't work very well, but they worked. So right now I'm going to remove the wheel and take the caliper apart. I just want to see what the wood looks like now. Let's have a look. Here's what happened. The surface is now very smooth, as if it had been polished. Obviously there is no friction, and that's why the brakes were completely ineffective. Anyway guys, we're not calling it quits just yet. We're gonna put these pads back on. You do remember what we did to the Mercedes, right? We're about to do the very same thing, but on wooden brake pads. I'll install them, start the car, put it in gear, hit the gas, hold the brake pedal, and we'll see where it goes from there. Let's do this.
So here's what we're dealing with, guys. We're seeing a good deal of debris. The rotor is wrecked, but that's totally normal. I mean, it overheated after all. The wood itself got shaved. Look at all these shavings. Anyway, they were supposed to be right at the point of bursting into flames. What do we got? The pad itself is slightly larger than the diameter of the disc. So they wore away, and you can plainly see how they... They lodged right into each other with the unworn surface. You can't squeeze them any further. The pedal sunk to the floor due to them wearing out. I kept pumping it, but to no avail. Looks good. So you can drive with wooden pads, but not for long. Here's what the pads look like. You can see how severely they're shaven, by maybe about 9 or 10 mil. We saw a lot of sawdust come off. That's why they almost went up in flames, since the friction was so substantial. The rotor is still really hot, despite the fact that almost 10 minutes have passed. Anyway, wood is good, but you're better off driving on vehicle-specific pads with Ferrodo friction material. So that would be the end of our experiment. That's enough for today, so watch our videos, send your comments and requests, hit the like button, subscribe, and see you later.